Okay, folks, welcome back to The Long Dark. This is, I think it's video number 12. I think it's 12. I'm fairly sure it's 12. In the series of The Long Dark playthrough, we are exactly where we left off. Here is our stash of goodies in Trapper's Cabin. You can see we have some good things. We have a rifle, we have sharpening stuff, we have cartridges, we have many, many sewing kits. We have got food, we have water. I would drink Yes, we have water, I just said that. Uh, we have water, we have uh, spare storm lanterns and matches and hatchets and knives and lots and lots of firewood. So we are looking really, really good. And we have a birch sapling which is 50% cured. So we're looking really, really good. We've just ferried stuff from camp office. So now we're going to go back and we're going to ferry some more. So let's make our way out. And we're going to be very careful because we know the bear is around. It's over the other side. Uh, it is um, on the other side of that big rock is where the bear is so we need to just be a bit careful it can shift if it decides it wants to so we've got to be a bit careful but we're going to head up this way we should be pretty safe we're heading up to the high ground and the bear can't get up the high ground so in theory we should be okay it's going to take it easy We'll take the high ground, the bear can take the low ground. And that was a really bad joke. Okay, so. Let's make our way around the back here. What's the weather? What's the temperature like? Minus seven, so it's not too bad. Condition's pretty good. We're a bit hungry, but that's not a problem. If you've watched my playthroughs before, you'll know that I tend to keep it quite... Uh, tight on food because there isn't very much we're playing in stalker there's not very much food i could step it up to interloper oh, I could eat a horse. but i just wasn't in the mood oh i forgot the rabbit i've just realized the whole point of us coming back here was to go and harvest that rabbit that we knew was that we knew we'd snare and i've completely forgotten to do it uh, and i've lost the bear as well and where the bear is the bear has magically disappeared this makes me nervous <laughs> The bear is not where I uh, where I left it. I left it right there. <laughs> now I don't know where it's gone. I don't think it comes up here, so I think we should be okay. I don't know whether it's wandered round. I, I don't know. I'm hoping it's not. I don't think it comes this way, so I think we should be okay. The bear has a, a relatively set pattern that it walks around, and I don't think that leads it up here, so I think we should be fine. I know it takes it to the area near the new forestry lookout, but I don't think it brings it near to camp office, so we should be absolutely fine. But it might bring it up onto... I think it brings it near derailment. We're not going near derailment at the minute, so we should be okay. Right, okay, let's make our way down here then. Now we know we have a dead wolf. Um, we brought it down... Uh, when we fought it, we spotted it on the way back the uh, back across the trapper's cabin. Um, there's also lots of ratio mushrooms and things here as well. So I'm going to grab the rose hips because they don't involve me going miles out of my way. Um, I think the ratio mushrooms are a bit further that way, and I'm not heading that way. So. I'm not quite that desperate for food yet, so I'm not going to stray into potential wolf territory just to gather some mushrooms. I'm going to come back up to the rail line. I kind of want to harvest this wolf. Um, I know in winter meat you can actually eat the predator meat without the intestinal parasites affliction. Um, I'm suspecting that's not going to be the case in survival. I have a feeling we are going to have that potential affliction, so I don't want to go too crazy with uh, relying on wolf meat in the in the early days of the long dark before that affliction was brought into the game you could eat uh, wolf and bear meat without a problem so if you brought the bear down for example you could uh, feast on its meat for for days um, but now they've introduced intestinal parasites and so basically if you eat predator meat which are basically the wolves and the bear and i don't know about the moose actually that would be interesting as to whether the moose is counted as a predator but uh, if you eat the predator meat you can get uh, this affliction intestinal parasites which causes uh, makes you ill basically in game uh, reduces your condition and 
various other things. I haven't actually ever contracted it, so I'm not 100% sure what it does. But we shall find out, because here is Dead Wolfie. We have a frozen wolf carcass. Um, so what I normally do, and the reason I was collecting those sticks, I'm going to gather up the crow feathers again, because we can use those later. There's actually quite a lot of them. I'm going to gather a few more sticks. I'm going to light myself a fire. This is what I normally do whenever we're, we're carcass harvesting, be it a deer, a wolf, or whatever it is. I always light a fire next to it, and that serves two purposes. And in this case, it serves three. Uh, the purposes it serves are, it keeps away predators, it defrosts the corpse that I'm trying to harvest, uh, the carcass that I'm trying to harvest, and it stops me from freezing to death. So multiple purposes for having a fire lit fire. by your carcass that you're trying to harvest. E there we go, we have a fire. So let us uh, chuck some, I'm going to chuck a piece of cedar on there and I am going to chuck my ruined torch on there, complete waste of time, and some of those sticks. Okay, so I've got a two hour fire. It's going to start defrosting my wolf carcass. Uh, so let's have a look and see. Oh, I can quarter it. Well, let's see what we can do with, with all of this. So I'm going to gather the meat, the hide, and the gut. I'm going to take the lot. 2 hours 41, 2 hours 21. Okay, let's harvest it with a hatchet then. The fire's going to go out just before we get to the end. Not a major issue. Okay, so fully harvested. Weather not great. It's gone a bit windy. The reason I decided to do that, it's, the fire's actually on embers. It hasn't completely gone out. Um, the reason I decided to just harvest the whole thing rather than quarter it, we're not very far from camp office really sunny and bright but it's really windy look at that it's really bright Where? I've something to eat. don't worry about that we're absolutely fine we're not gonna starve it's at this point you know that I'm always a bit worried about whether the game audio is recording properly and whether you can hear it because I'm responding to what the character is saying so I'm kind of hoping that the game audio is actually working because I know I've had some issues with it in the past where it's not been very loud or it hasn't recorded at all so I am hoping that the game audio is actually recording as I'm having a conversation with the character uh, okay so we're heading into camp office I could have quartered the carcass there uh, I don't know if you lose anything if you quarter it uh, I do that with deer carcasses but I've not done it with a wolf before at least I don't think I have Okay, let's get away from the mournful music. We'll head into camp office. So, we're back in camp office. Let's uh, start by laying out the things that we have just gathered that need to be cured. And that's going to be the two guts and the uh, skin of the wolf, the wolf pelt. So, I want to put these down as soon as we come inside. Before you can use these for crafting, you have to cure them. And to cure them, you have to lay them out inside uh, so they have to be in an indoor location like camp office for a certain period of time and it depends on exactly what they are how long it takes you can see the percentage there when they're fully cured we can use them for crafting so you have to lay them out to let them dry basically so i want to get those down as soon as possible it only does it if they're laid on the floor if they're in your your inventory it doesn't do it you have to actually put them down on the ground so they're down there you well, obviously you can put them up here or wherever but so long as they're actually laid out somewhere it will start to happen so we want to do that as soon as we come in so that's what we've done we've got tons of wolf meat though so we're pretty encumbered and we smell and you can see from our scent there so the wolves are going to come after us they ain't bothered that what we're uh, carrying well actually it might make them angry to be fair um so what i need then is good long fire uh so let's break down what's left in here to break down to use for firewood purely because i can't be bothered to get any out i know there is actually a load stashed away somewhere but uh, i'm just going to break it all break down what we've got and just make a good long fire out of it that should do it. 
Oh, are we pretty tired? Oh, we are quite tired, actually. Uh, I tell you what, let's do this upstairs, then. And we'll use the bed. So I'll just sleep in the bed for an hour. Just to... Uh, stave off some of that tiredness. We'll just drink... Uh, we might as well drink water. And I'll just eat a cattail, because I've got tons of those. And that's not going to give me massive calories, but anyway, we'll just sleep for an hour. That'll just top up our tiredness level. There we go. So let's, uh, we'll do this up here then. So we're going to fire started. So we're going to use wood, uh, no, we use card matches. Use cattail, we use a book, because that uh, saves our wood matches. So we'll get a cattail. That's tins, and we'll get this going. Okay, so fire started. Let's bung all of this. Let's bung it all on. We're probably going to need it all. So we've got a fell's a five hour fire, and I have a feeling we're going to need it. So let's. Uh, oh, it's all mouldy already. Oh, so it's 60%. That's not really mouldy, is it? Okay, so let's uh, cook all of our wolf meat. Now, this is where we're going to find out about the intestinal parasites, whether that is still a thing in survival mode. Obviously, you can eat the predator meat. It's not going to immediately kill you um, but you just have to be careful uh, if you eat too much of it it'll be a problem but I found that you can get away with two pieces um, and then wait for the uh, affliction to clear and then you're fine you can do it again so plus I don't think you always get it either unless it's been changed I know we're tired and I know we're hungry. Okay, so let's... We're actually coming to darkness now anyway. Okay, so we've managed to do all of that. So we've got three hours left on our fire, so we might as well use that to make some more water. So let's do a couple of litres of water. So that's always useful to do try not to waste fires when we light them we try not to waste them we try and make water the only problem with water is it's quite heavy yeah it's fine we are getting tired but it's fine we're standing right next to a bed so it's not really a problem let's uh, bung that up to the four liters that we're carrying we'll boil that off so we are carrying a fair bit of water water is something that you you do use a lot of don't waste fires if there's a bit left on your fire make water um, you never want to waste fires too much. The stuff. only problem I have at the moment is that I am carrying an awful lot. Okay, so I'm going to have my herbal tea. And the reason for that is it gives me a rest bonus. Um, you get better sleep. I have no idea what kind of effect it has, but, you know, we'll go for it. Where is it? There it is. And it's hot as well, but that doesn't matter because we've been by a fire for a while anyway. Warming up improved rest. I don't know whether that means that we can sleep for longer or... I don't know. Okay, so we need to uh, eat. So I'm going to eat. Let's eat a piece of this wolf meat. Okay, risk of intestinal parasites. I'm going to eat another piece. Risk of intestinal parasites. There we go. So if we have a look on the status menu, uh, it's actually quite low. Avoid eating more meat from carnivores. Okay, so we're at 4% intestinal parasite risk. So that's actually fine. So if we just kind of leave that until that affliction goes away, which I think it does after a period of time, we can then eat more of it. So I think we're okay to do that. It's not really a major issue. Okay, so let's just drink. Drink some of that water because we've got plenty of it. So I think we're in good condition now. So if we now just try, we'll try and do the sleep for the full eight hours. See if it'll let us sleep all the way through the night. We're pretty tired, so I reckon it probably will. Yep, nine days, 12 hours, 27 minutes. We've slept for the full eight hours. 
Let's just drink some more water and then we'll just sleep for a few more hours, which will hopefully bring us through to daylight. We're pretty close now, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll hit daylight by the time we wake back up again. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. There we go. Ah, there we are. So, what is our current situation? We are ca we have a load of wolf meat. I'm going to leave... Oh, I don't know, actually. I mean, I'm pretty close to my carrying limit, and if I carry this round, I am going to smell, and the wolves are going to pick it up, potentially. So, it's tricky, because I want to get this all back to... Uh, it doesn't sound very good out there, either, to be fair. I want to be carrying things back now to... Uh, Trapper's Homestead, but the weather outside does not sound very friendly. It's because we've got all this to carry back as well. Let's pick all this up. I think that's what I'm going to try and carry back. Obviously, it makes me smell, but that's fine. I've still got a couple of kilos carrying weight, so let's see what else I can grab from my filing cabinet of awesomeness. Uh, I'm going to leave the spare bedroll there for now. I'm going to take all the cloth, we'll take the book, and we shall... Uh, that tips us over our carrying weight. Is there anything relatively light in this one? Uh, birch bark. Uh, fishing line. Magnifying glass. I'm just keeping an eye on the carrying weight as I transfer things across. Okay, so that's actually fine. So we're just a fraction over our carrying weight. But the weather outside does not sound very friendly. I'm going to stick my head out, but it does not sound very friendly. So I have a feeling we are going to have to wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get back in there. We do smell as well because we're carrying a pelt and a load of cooked food and gut. I think it's the gut that probably smells. So we are going to be detectable by the wolves. That's what that means. It means that they will find us. So hopefully we'll be all right. Okay, so let's see if we can... Kill some time, we're going to research some books. So let's research the ice fishing book. Five hours. I'll go with that. Let's do five hours. Hopefully we're not going to die of uh, dehydration. Nope. Cool. So we have completed research on the frozen angler. That gives us uh, an increase in our fishing skill. Uh, so that improves our angling skill and it's actually leveled us immediately leveled us up we've gone up to level two of our ice fishing skill so that's pretty cool we haven't even done any ice fishing yet so that's kind of uh, kind of cool fishing time reduced by five percent eight percent chance of a line break on catch i didn't actually look what that was before to be honest so i don't know whether that's a, whether that's improved or what but so we have an eight percent chance of the line breaking if we catch something. Eat anything right now. Okay, and uh, fishing time has been reduced by five percent, so that's pretty cool. Um, what was the other one that we've got? Because we have got another one. I'm going to eat and drink before I uh, before I do any more. So that's. Do you know I'm going to risk eating another piece of my wolf meat? I think I should be okay. Still well within. What am I at? Nine percent. Okay, I won't do any more than that, but. I think we should be okay. It keeps us going. And let us drink some water. And then we shall research our other book. Because we have another book that we can research. Researching these books... Oh, it's the shooting guide. Re researching these books is definitely a good thing to do. Because it does improve your skill. As you saw, our ice fishing skill has jumped straight to level 2. And we haven't even done any ice fishing yet, so that's brilliant. Okay, so we've now researched that. They go into firewood now, by the way. That's all they're good for now, is starting fires with. Does that level us up? Mm, doesn't look like it does. Let's have a quick look. Not quite. It's half increased it, but we've not found a rifle yet. We're halfway there already, so that's pretty good. You can see how our skills are progressing. Uh, our cooking skill is virtually there now, so it won't take much more before it goes up. And then I think we get more calories from cooked food. Carcass harvesting, we've only done the one, so we've still got a fair way to go on that one. And fire starting, we've done a few, uh, but hopefully that will increase as we do more fires. Okay, as you can tell, I'm probably trying to kill time now because I can't go outside. Um, the weather outside is very frightful. Because we've eaten and drunk, we've actually dropped back below our carrying weight. So let's just drop back in here 
and grab some extra stuffs and things. Um, let's grab a couple of those books and let's grab some of the uh, tinder material. And the reason I'm grabbing that, I might Packs actually might actually uh, convert those into tinder plugs while we're just kind of waiting for things to settle down a bit here. We are, I'm desperately trying to kill time, <laughs> but we are waiting for the weather to improve. So let's, uh, let's do some harvesting. Um, I'm going to drink before I start so we don't get dehydrated. I have a feeling we're going to end up overnighting here again because it almost is night. Unless we, of course, go walking through the night again. Um, right, so let's break these down into tinder plugs. So it's breaking down the newspaper, or the stacks of papers as it is, into tinder plugs. And the tinder plugs, obviously, are what we use to start fires with. We've got a big stockpile of them already at Trapper's Cabin. Uh, and I think we've also got a big stockpile of them over at the Grey Mother's house. We've got plenty of them, so we're not going to have any problems with tinder. So I'm not bothering to pick any more up because I've just got so much of it. It's not really benefiting me having any more. But I'm going to get 20 tinder plugs out of this. I'm get two tinder plugs out of each stack of papers. And I've got 10 stacks of papers. I'm going to get 20 tinder plugs out of all of this. Okay, good news is the weather sounds like it's calmed down a bit. It's not so noisy, although it's now night time. There we go. So we now have 21 tinder plugs. We might as well do the newsprint and the newsprint roll while we're here and just finish off the job. Do a bit of housekeeping work. This is part of the game. The long dark when you're doing long term survival. We need to maximise use of resources. We need to do a fair bit of housekeeping. Okay, there we go. So we've got 27 tinder plugs, plus six cattail stalks, plus two bits of birch bark. Uh, so we are not going to have a problem. And I think we can actually convert sticks into tinder as well. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So tinder is not something you really have a problem with in the long dark. It's fuel. That tends to be the issue. Okay, so we are pretty fully um, stocked. We've got quite a lot of stuff to take back to Trapper's Cabin. Um, and we have um, uh, still a little bit here. There's not massive amounts left, but there's a bit here. So we may come back here uh, again, or we might head over to the Forestry Lookout and then come back to Camp Office on the way back from there. So that might be what I end up doing next. But that's going to be in the next video right now. I'm going to say thank you, as always, for joining me with The Long Dark. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you're learning a few things from it as well. If you have any questions, uh, anything you'd like to know, if you're new to the game and you want to know how, how things are done, do drop me a comment below, and I always try and respond. Uh, so please hit like, hit subscribe, and we shall be back very soon for some more Long Dark. I shall see you again very, very soon.